So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and probably the most anticipated MPV slash crossover SUV whatever you wanna call it is this the 2023 Mitsubishi Expander Cross so this is a two-tone variant as you can see actually my friends hilariously joke that they thought this was a auto hub edition knowing auto hub like doing their special editions so I'd like to thank everyone here at auto hub group Mitsubishi auto hub and to sir Josh for making this walk around review possible being the Expander Cross a lot of people inquired about me when is the Expander Cross coming I did already two reviews of the regular expander there have been endless comments about this cross so yet again i've driven the old one compared with this new one i gotta be honest i'm not a fan of the cross but this one compared with the older cross i prefer this for some reason and like my nitpick with the expander super shogun that i reviewed i'm not a fan of this one the expander cross here on top of the engine hood but there's a lot more trinkets here bips and bobs compared with the regular expander you have here now a gloss black grille so you have a new front bumper design too it looks similar to be honest like that the strada rally art actually i don't mind this rugged look now to my surprise the ground clearance is pretty much the same at 225 millimeters so i was expecting like plus 5 plus 10 millimeters more against the regular expander since this is a cross but again being the cross top of the line now there are more additions now here with this cross van to my surprise you still have the led drls above here and now you have tri led headlights here finally because the regular expander only had halogens and two you have led fog lamps here too that is pretty good like the regular expander this cross has a lot of chrome here and there but there is more cladding here and there which i am not a fan of but like what i said earlier i prefer this look than the previous generation compared with the previous gen it was kind of whack fitment this one i don't see any what holes here whatever in the cladding whatsoever and the cladding looks similar with the previous generation but and again i don't mind it and like with the regular expander powering this is the same throughout the expander lineup it's a one and a half liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine that produces 103 horsepower and 141 newton meters of torque and this one is still mated to a four speed automatic transmission so probably my case will still stand that i'm happy they kept the four speed automatic instead of bringing in the cvt variant because like what i said in my super shogun review I prefer there's a little bit more urgency with the 4-speed compared with a CVT model but yet again I've never tried a expander with a CVT gearbox. So here now at the side profile of the Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Like what I said being a cross brand there is multitude of cladding here so there's actually a silver trim here too on the cladding i don't think the previous generation had this silver trim i mean it does give it a nicer look at least you have chrome door handles here more chrome here and there on the window seals and you have chrome outside mirrors with repeaters too so being the two-tone variant too everything above here in the roof is blacked out including the roof rails and surprisingly you have the rear spoiler from the aero kit regular expander but i don't think you can option the aero kit on this expander cross so here now at the rear of the mitsubishi expander cross like with the regular expander you still have led tail lights over here sadly no more formula one style brake light over here but it's now covered in skid plates they look like exhaust pipes for some reason as well you have an updated badge as well here and a lot more cladding than usual over here this is your third brake light now so open the boot up still sadly not electronic tailgate but i don't mind and surprisingly i just saw this right now you have a chrome strip over here for the load lip and like all expanders you have underfloor storage boot capacity is pretty much the same so with all of the seats up you have 150 liters with the third row down you have 750 liters and finally with all of the seats down you have 1632 liters yet again the second row tumbles like all expanders and for a change usually i go to the front immediately of the car but let's start here in this third row <laughs> So here now, in the third row of the expander cross, well like the regular expander, the second row seats tumble forward so getting in and out is very easy and 
Okay, door touch still sound the same like the regular expander. And this is why I love the expander to this day. I know I said the BRV has better space with the third row here, but this expander comes at a close second place. I know these seats haven't been adjusted to my liking it, but still the space here is really good fit room. I can move around my knee room just that much and then my headroom oops <laughs> ouch okay the center yeah might be an issue because that's your headroom left but left and right side of the seats so that's my headroom so third row here will be pretty okay for small children and small adults like me but i'll be happy to sit here in the third row if needed and then the headrest i never tested this i think in the regular expander yeah okay i'll be happy here it's really comfortable now being the expander cross before we get to the biggest changes in the interior here of this expander cross these are leather seats now up to here to the third row and you can see i'll just show you the second row the leather here is mixed with blue and black that is a really nice touch here with this expander cross i mean you won't notice this is actually dark blue it looks more of black but if you light it up ever so slightly you can see there's a bit of hints of blue in here which is pretty cool so like the regular expander, you have cubby spaces and cup holders on each side, water jug fits, and the lone 12 volt socket is only located here on the right side, but hey, at least there is. So, yeah, down here the third row, second row time. So here now in the second row, still sounds pretty okay too. So now being the expander cross, this part of the leather here is now blue i remembered in the expander this was fabric and for your elbows was still leather but it's black and yeah same bits and bobs here i don't even remember in the regular expander because i filmed that months ago there's carbon fiber wrapping here in the window switches not sure if it's real or not but it's still a nice touch and like the regular expander behind the driver seat you have an array of map pockets and there's only one behind the right front passenger seat so space here in the second row is pretty much the same like with the regular expander excellent feet room knee room and headroom headroom i think is still one of the best ones in its class this second row is probably now better than the brv what i said earlier the brv has the best third row but probably all round the expander is the best what second row here in its class too so let's focus this more with the brv because a lot of you bashed me in my honda brv review because i said it was better than the mitsubishi expander i mean hey take it for granted i understand your comments that value wise expander takes the cake not gonna lie too i will still pick the expander over the brv but i just found out the brv drives better but let's see on how this cross will perform now and it's more in the price bucket now with the brv vx and this has more goodies too in the front row but we'll get to that in a bit too so more stuff here in the second row like what i showed you this part is dark blue and the middle part is just black but at least everything here is still leather and then like with the regular expander there is a central armist pretty hard to put down but at least it reveals your two cup holders fits my water jug perfectly too and then in the center you have one usb-c port and then one usb port if i sit here in the middle transmission tunnels the size of my shoe but it's not in the way that much you can put your feet wherever you want headroom now not affected whatsoever the middle seats a little bit elevated compared with the left and right side of the seats but still it's very oh very more much more comfortable to sit here in the middle ah yeah what i remembered with the regular expander since those were all fabric seats it was a little bit stiffer to sit here in the middle but now this being all leather it's much more softer and comfortable here and the leather here it's more on the durable side of things but it's still fancy enough in here and like with the regular expander you have air conditioning vents up above along with the chrome knob that's my favorite feature and a lot of you complained about this i completely agree with you too that the brv only has three air conditioning vents compared to this expanders four and along with their ortiga hybrids for air conditioning vents i completely understand that that, that was also my big complaint when i first saw the new brv at the philippine international motor show last year i was like why you only have two air conditioning vents are you serious <laughs> anyway it's about it here in the third and the second row let's talk about the biggest talking point now of this mitsubishi expander cross is the front row so here now up front in the mitsubishi expander cross pretty much exactly the same with the regular expanders now 
sitting here immediately there's a lot of differences now i mean let's let's talk about that later on so here you have a 7 inch infotainment system with apple carplay and android auto remember check out my expander super shogun review i demoed entirely the infotainment system there link of that will be somewhere up here or in the description down below so below that you have two air conditioning vents and your lamborghini style air conditioning controls along with your physical buttons thank god they're all still physical buttons not touch sensitive and then further down below that you have two cubby spaces one 12 volt socket and a usb port so here now on the dashboard still like with the expander it feels like more you're driving an suv rather than an mpv the visibility throughout is excellent along with the corner windows you can see there that was my biggest surprise when i drove these ex regular expander or the expander super shogun visibility throughout was excellent so here now in the door card pretty much the same this one now is leather dark blue again like what i said in the second row and the carbon fiber weave again here around the window switches so here in the left side you have your air conditioning vent and then further down below you have your side mirror adjustments and your electronic stability control button along with three more blank buttons yet again like my complaint with the regular expander there are a lot of blank buttons despite being the top of the line model already so here around in the gear lever exactly the same you have your electronic parking brake auto hold function and the overdrive function too beside the gear lever and i forgot to mention this in my main review there are two extra storages beside the center console one on each side too which is cool and then there's that blue leather again here now on the dashboard it looks so premium in here now compared with the regular expander and then you have storages here fits my phone glove box okay pretty big all right that's probably one of the biggest ones in its class too and two cup holders here it's my water jug again center console box okay that's pretty deep excellent and then the seats again here with the dark blue leather okay pretty much more comfortable to sit here than the regular expander because those fabrics for my liking only was a little bit too hard so this leather now is better than the nissan Livina. i also have a review on that that was a weird thing with the new expander it still had fabrics even though it was the top of the line model meanwhile a very old nissan Livina that arrived here in the philippines has leather seats at least mitsubishi made up with this expander cross it gets all the tech and all of the leather premium goodies now you have lights above here sun visor no vanity mirror but you have a ticket clip don't extend sadly so now this is the biggest talking point of this mitsubishi expander cross you have the exact same steering wheel from a mitsubishi montero sport black series <laughs> because that's the only one i toured and i have an upcoming test drive of a mitsubishi sport gls it may be old but finally i test drive a montero already yeah i can confirm this steering wheel is directly from a mitsubishi montero i was about to say strada but i looked at the mitsubishi strada rally art steering wheel beside me that steering wheel doesn't have gloss black on it this one has so here on the left side you have adjustments for your digital instrument cluster we'll hold on a minute and then you have your volume controls here too along with your adjustments for the music in the infotainment system and on the right side you have your cruise control functions and your phone connectivity buttons i even forgot the expander has a voice command button i'll try to demo this soon when we get to test drive this expander cross and now being the expander cross you have an 8 inch fully digital instrument cluster that's so cool it's directly from the montero black series so here's a walkthrough of the digital instrument cluster there are three displays and you can toggle them and interchange them So as you can see, you can do a lot of stuff with the instrument cluster compared with the analog of the regular expander. But this is the coolest thing I've seen in a Mitsubishi so far. You can change the turn signal indicator sound.
I like that electronic one for some reason. This is so cool. So, yeah, those are the biggest changes with this Expander Cross 8-inch digital instrument cluster and a Montero sports steering wheel. Yeah, I understand the reviews now. It feels a little bit more commanding to drive this Expander Cross now because you have an SUV steering wheel. Right, so the cost for all this, remember, this is the two-tone. This one cost at 1,338,000 pesos. So this is 10,000 pesos more than the monotone variant. So what I'm sitting in right now will be also the demo unit test dive review coming really really soon i cannot wait to dive this so that concludes my walk around review of this expander cross so remember if you want a mitsubishi expander cross or any other mitsubishi vehicle you may contact sir josh here so i'd like to thank him mitsubishi otob and otob group for making this walk around review possible and as well thank you to the head marketing of mitsubishi auto hub sir ram so hope you guys like and subscribe and i will see you with the test dive review of this coming real real soon Bye-bye.